It began in the 1980s with an economic theory called trickle-down economics. And it was the idea that if the U.S. corporation, which affects all of our lives, if the U.S. corporation only has one responsibility, and that is its fiduciary responsibility to its stakeholders, to its, excuse me, to its stockholders, without any sense of moral or ethical obligation to any other stakeholders, such as workers, community, environment, and to some extent we're all stakeholders in what happens in corporate America, then this was sold to us as a good thing. Because what we were told was that this stockholder class would become so rich and then they would create jobs and all the money would trickle down and it would lift all boats. Uh. That was back in 1980. Full war in the 1980s. And I think that after 40 years we can say the jury's in. This trickle down economic theory has not lifted all boats, it has left millions of people without even life vests. And it has created the largest income inequality since 1929. And it has left us in a place where 1% of Americans own more wealth than the bottom 90%. Mm. Now, this economic theory that became so popular in the 1980s, things continue to happen. They created more and more of a toxic brew, including the fact that by the 1990s, so much of that corporate money, which represented that mentality, began to have an explosive and undue influence on public policy. And then by the time Citizens United Supreme Court decision came around giving unlimited power, by this point, ladies and gentlemen, we're in trouble. Because the United States government has become little more than a system of legalized bribery. And we now live in a situation where that economic theory, an amoral economic theory, an amoral economic theory has both corrupted the United States government and it has hijacked America's value system. 